Hi everyone, I hope you're going to enjoy painting this cherry blossom with me. Now it's on a very small canvas, five inches by five inches, and what I've done is I've cropped some big photographs. I photographed the blossom on the trees, and um, so I've cropped it right down. And I'm just going to paint in some white where I want it to be really light. Well, I've sort of lost the pinkiness, but I think that's because it's been cropped so much and I'm sure I can put that back. But the first thing to do, I think, is paint over some of this so that when I put the metallic paint on, it stays lovely and white. And it will sort of be more shiny. That's my theory. Go over those lines because we don't want to see pen lines, although they're quite thin. Um... Well, they might just take that around the edge. We can make up a few later around there. I don't want it to be too heavy on there. I'm sort of thinking that the blue-black might be quite nice as well. We'll have a look once we start to put it on. just so so beautiful I think that will do for the moment. We'll get that completely dry and we can sort of go a step further. And my picture is far too white so what I'm going to do is with this tiny little brush I'm going to use the metallic paint. Go over that white. Okay, now if I put that over that, will that be darker without needing to put anything else darker in? Yeah, I think that will be. Okay. Mm, maybe not. So what I can do is just go for a little bit of that blue. And add that into it. Okay, and then I am going to get some magenta. Is that going to be dark enough? No, I think I'll go for the dark red, get it really dark in that middle bit. That's sort of a definite shape there. Yeah, that's better, that wouldn't have. And on to the next bit. I wonder if I mix some white in with that, if it still stays nice and shiny. It's 
only one way to find out. That will be nice and shiny. And that's that pencil, so we've got those. So I think the white and the shiny metallic. Because I've used a tube that I've not mixed the colour background, the fact that I've stuck my finger in it there won't matter too much. Because I can just um, paint over it if I need to. down here but you can't quite see what but that just finishes the picture nicely and here too let's get some more of the pink and a little bit of the blue So, so lovely and shiny. Just dipping into the blue, black and the pink at the same time. Oh, I think we're just going for a little bit of that permanent matter. to work out what we're doing with them. There's lots of flowers there. It's a bit of black to that one. Time to stand back again. Kill or cure. Uh, I can put that with my white, with a little bit of pink on there. Oh, that darkens it too much. Let's go back to the white. Well, right, I think the silver and the white could be quite nice for the shadows. Quite pretty, aren't they? 
but as I say, every cloud has a silver lining. I'm so sticking my fingers into so many of these. We just paint over it. <laughs> so many of them, they were just so beautiful. Let's get some of that silver into here. It's just really a pattern of colours, isn't it? And so oh, there needs to be some red in that one too. They start to take shape and make sense, don't they? As we do a little bit more. And so that's a bit of red. That's quite nice. I think these need to be joined up a little bit and maybe that's that one, so that's quite dark there. I don't know if this will work or not, but the only way is to try, really. What's going on here? sure it should be there or not but okay now I'm gonna go for the very dark of the red black I'm just gonna do these knobbly bits of stick that's sort of holding them on I've decided to bring it down here a little bit just to um, make it a little bit more interesting. Now when that's dried we can put some of the stay many things in. I'm not sure if this will work but I'm trying to get a little bit of red crinkles into the outlines of these. Using a really fine brush. And we'll just work our way around. Something dark in there I didn't see before. So you notice so much more, don't you? All the time. Let's pop that in. This could be overkill, but we will see. A shine on that too. No, shine doesn't work. 
think we need the contrast of the shine and the non-shine. It's looking more like it should do. Some of it's still wet, it's probably not helping, but I'm so not used to painting with tiny brushes. I think that's looking better. It's not looking quite so messy, is it, by doing that? Hmm. I think it's just fun experimenting. Sometimes things go good and sometimes they don't. That's all part of it. got those stamens now to put in. I think I use a little bit of orange and a little bit of dark brown. And I'm using my little squidgy brush and it's just on the ends. I just pull those out. There's not very many. This brush is so useful for so many things. Um, so. Would say that's finished. Um, it's been fun doing that. I think there's other things that I could do with this too. Maybe with watercolour, it will be a lot softer. But it's good to experiment, and I think that's that's worked fairly well. So thank you for watching.